Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm going to walk through some subscriber gameplay with you guys and talk about what he could have done better, what he did well, etc. Really excited. So one of my subscribers sent me in some gameplay. Thank you to Kinetic. And we're going to take a look. This is actually about the first time I'm looking at the gameplay. So let's see. He is playing some Mage Warlock Holy Paladin. He's fighting some Sub Frost RMP. I have no idea what MMR this is. So we'll go ahead and find out together. But um, pretty much in these subscriber walkthroughs or breakdowns, I want to look at the game, whether he wins, whether he loses. I just want to look at each individual play and, you know, just see what he's doing right, see what he's doing wrong, see, you know, what he can improve on or what his team could improve on as a whole. Right away, he starts off invis. That's totally fine. Uh, they open with a smoke bomb and an orb on to his paladin right away i would target the mage and try to get the icy veins maybe go for a belf into a sheep you're not a belf so um if he casts anything counter spell it you can try to go for a sheep the problem with going for a sheep is if he locks you an arcane then you can't peel at all um, but i would definitely go for a spell seal on this icy veins right away uh, looks like he's in the bomb a little bit so you couldn't quite get it you do spell steal that icy veins it looks like so good job to you um, the mage gets feared if the mage is feared i'd go for a sheep on the rogue then because you want to either you know sheep rogue fear mage or fear uh rogue and sheep mage double cc to keep your paladin alive so he doesn't have to bubble right off the opener he is forcing that bubble the master spells going off and i would probably since your paladin i think bubbled um i would probably go for a counter spell on that master spell make sure that doesn't go off so the counter spell on the master spell never came off um maybe uh your warlock said I, i'm he was gonna counter spell but he ended up not doing it but you or your warlock should be counter spelling that mass dispel on your paladin's bubble but if, even before that i would have tried to peel a little bit better so that your pally wouldn't have to bubble in the first place so preventing those cooldowns um, it does look like he survived, so that's okay for now, but those are the mistakes that I see so far. Um, your Warlock is Destro, so I, I guess I should note that mentally. Um, I wasn't quite sure at the start of the game. You get a full sheep onto the priest, which is beautiful, and you guys um, seem to get a lot of damage. You pop Icy Veins, the Chaos Bolt's coming off, and the Mage's Force into his first block. So, I mean, this is perfect. Not much to say here. Looks like your Paladin still has Hammer of Justice, so if I were you, I would go for a second sheep on the priest, into a third sheep onto a priest, into either Fears or Hammer of Justice, into the you know other one that you didn't already use. Um, and then maybe you could just kill the mage out of this. So this game could maybe be over if you just continued. Uh, Rogue is still kind of training your pally down. See, you didn't go for the resheep. So it's what it's really important, especially when they're not training you, is when you get one sheep, get a second sheep, get a third sheep, get a fear, fear again, fear again, hodge, silence into a full sheep again, right? If you just continue these CC chains, you can just win games outright. Um, that, you know, you, otherwise you could maybe eventually lose if you don't just take advantage of the CC chains. You're going for a second poly, you do get locked in Arcane. That second poly um, would have been bad. If you would have gotten that, would have been not the greatest poly because your full sheep is in seven seconds. So there's no reason to really reset. Um, your polymorph when it's full in seven seconds right so at this point you want to just wait for your poly dr to reset so you can full sheep again for another big go i may just polling you up a couple times um you did have kick for that poly but that's almost a good poly to eat because not too much is happening so i don't really blame you once again, they're training down your paladin. This There's no sheep DRs or fear DRs on any of the three players. This shouldn't really happen. If they're training down your pally, your pally, what your pally should do is run to like a corner of the map. So maybe the starting room, uh, maybe just somewhere in the open so that you guys can easily peel without line of sight getting in the way. What I would like to see is, you know, two or three sheeps on the rogue, two or three sheeps on the mage, two or three fears on both of them, and just peel, just peel until you can get CC on the priest. When you get CC on the priest, go for a hammer of justice on the mage or the rogue, and then set up a big chaos bolt and a big glacial spike or a big ebon bolt on the DPS. So here you get the sheep on the rogue, which is wonderful. The coil comes out on the mage, so the setup's pretty nice. There's no CC on the priest, though, so I would like to see something onto the priest. Um, doesn't look like you guys get it quite yet. Uh, that that So that kill attempt just wasn't the greatest because there was no CC. Whenever you guys use a coil or whenever you guys use um, your Hammer of Justice, your Hodge, you want to have some CC on the Priest so we can't just heal through it. So I would recommend a counter spell, a Sheep, a Fear, um, anything like that. You can even Hodge the Priest and coil the DPS if you really can't land any other casted CC, but you should be able to eventually. So always line up your burst with your CC, right? Um, you are playing Glacial Spike. I see the Glacial going off on the mage. Looks like he blinks that. Um, not taking too much damage there. 
you're just casting frost bolts this is downtime this is fine the rogue's feared um he's already on full sheep dr you're chasing the mage this is pretty normal it's unfortunate but that's just kind of how your comp works as destro frost mage h pal i play a little bit myself with thugonomics and and uh, versace but yes yeah, so they're kind of playing back that's okay what i would what i would recommend doing here is just keeping that blizzard down keeping uh you know your frost bolts and you know getting your spikes ready for when they push in you peel their go and then go on to them um the Havoc comes out, I mean, the Fragility comes out, and you coil, it looks like you just coil the Priest, I I mean, not you, but your Warlock coils the Priest, don't know about this coil, um, I mean, it can work if you do a perfect setup like Coil and the Hajj, but I, I would probably save the coils uh, for DPS on a setup, the, what's weird, the Fragility's on the Mage and the Coil's on the Priest, so I just don't really know about that, um, the full Sheep goes out, it does break though, and they have a big go into your Warlocks, your Warlock is kind of pushed in here um doesn't look like he has wall doesn't look like he has many cooldowns to survive and see if your compali can top him off throw a sack on him maybe something like that um warlock is still dipping a little bit looks like it should be okay uh the problem here is just you pushed in used your stuff but it wasn't like a good setup you, what you want to do is have them push in stop their go and then go yourself but as mage destro if you're the one pushing in onto them and you just try to coil them or just try to force a go it's gonna look a lot like this right it's gonna look a lot like you're killing yourself it's it's just not very good so what you should do is stay in the open wait for them to come peel um, and then do a counter go onto them. Now, not around these pillars, because these pillars are really screwing you up. Once again, I want to talk about this polymorph. That was a third DR, I'll rewind for a second. That's a, a third DR polymorph. The full sheep was in four seconds. If you would have waited four seconds, you'd have had a full sheep. Actually, in three seconds, two seconds, one second. If you would have waited one more second, it would have been a full sheep. But instead, you quarter DR'd your polymorph. It happens to the best of us. Like, it happens to me all the time. It just, it's hard um, sometimes to keep track of that. But you really want to keep track of those polymorph DRs. Um, once again, your your warlock isn't really going for too many fears out of your sheep. So like ideally, you should be going for their sheep's and then trying to follow them with fears. Um, you're sitting this full sheep. Um, you have no counter spell available, so that's fine, I guess. You can go for some spell steals on these mage shields. If you don't have any mana, it looks like you only have about enough mana for one spell steal. You can just break them as well. Um, your priest and your uh, your so you're stacked with the with your pally on this fear, which is just unfortunate. I would have re sheeped this. Uh, priest right here so the priest gets full sheeped i think he shrink it fears no he deaths your sheep and then fears um your pally and you are both feared your warlock's left alone across the map he's popping some defensives i'm not sure if he's gonna live it doesn't look like it maybe your pally can come in and save him he comes in with a half blind on your pally and your warlock goes down so generally like the first go wasn't bad at all um i'll, I'll let this play out actually the first go wasn't bad at all i'd say the biggest thing that lost this game for you guys is that you really pushed in onto them instead of waiting for them to push into you and then doing a counter go from there um in addition to that i would recommend just peeling better you have three sheeps and three fear drs that you can really just you know if they open on your pally just completely peel so your pally doesn't need the bubble um, in addition to that i would definitely keep an eye on your counter spell um your counter spell for the mass dispel, the counter spell for any frost mage abilities, the you know, ebon bolts, the glacial spikes, anything crucial that was coming out. Actually, I don't think that mage is playing glacial. Um, anything crucial coming out, you want to use your kicks on. It seems like you were getting sheeped and not stopping crucial sheeps. And the crucial sheeps are the are the setup ones onto yourself when they want to go on your warlock or your paladin. Um, stacking for that fear at the end, having a death your sheep, obviously not the greatest either. And here we are hopping into a second game. This time they are playing with a priest. I don't know if it's a, yeah, it's a holy priest because I see they're a new buff at the top. They're fighting a windwalker DK and a holy priest as well man all so many holy priests into the meta right away you're running right over to the holy priest um this is fine but you want to almost position yourself in a way where you can hit the dps and then cc the holy priest when he's coming in if you're wasting too much time trying to get the cc and they just open up hard on your warlock it can kind of just backfire so you're going in for that full sheep let's see if you get it you get the full sheep you icy veins you orb um before the, even the ebon bolt goes off i almost put down the blizzard first because look how many pets there are if you would have had a blizzard down first then you know in its instant cast you would have gotten your orb back a lot sooner you get uh the half sheep you don't go for the quarter sheep uh the karma is coming out on to the monk and you sheep him that's fine Let's see, you're casting frost bolts. I would I would really just recommend keeping that blizzard down more. Like as simple as that sounds, if you would have I would have had a blizzard down this entire game so far. They're stacked up, there's a lot of pets. If you would have had blizzard down, um the 
you know, th in the entire game. So far, you'd have already had two um, orbs at least, which is just so much more damage, so much more pressure, and it forces them. Um, like, you have 30 seconds on your orb, you would have already had another orb. So you would have forced so much more damage already, like, right now. So I guess just keeping that blizzard down is just way more crucial. Like, it sounds like it's so simple, but I guess it's, you know, a lot more beneficial than that. You get a full sheep onto the priest behind the pillar, that's good. I would go for a half sheep into a quarter sheep, obviously. See if your lock can fear, uh, you know, fear that. Maybe use a chastise instead. The guardian comes out. You guys are forcing a lot of cooldowns. You got the fuse, you got guardian, you have um, ray. This is not looking too bad. The fear does come out as well onto the priest, so your CC chains are looking better. You lock the priest, not too bad either. Um, priest is probably the best thing to lock here, and <laughs> glacial spike when walker goes down. So, I mean, good game. You guys won pretty fast. Um, I mean, what can I really say to a win, right? But you can still learn from, from games that you win. Uh, I guess what I would say is maybe the chastise that your priest used could have used to extend the CC chain or used it better on the kill target. Um, I'm not sure if that's the first or second chastise of the game. I would say to put the blizzard down when you have that instant cast blizzard um, as soon as you can. By the way, this MMR is around 1800. I think last time we did the subscriber reviews, it was around 1500. So going up a little bit, I want to get like 1500, 1800, 2k, 2200, 2400, 2600. You know, I want like all different types of MMR for all different levels of viewers watching. But anyway, yeah, getting that blizzard down to get your next orb sooner to get that damage off sooner would have probably helped you a little bit. But overall, not a bad game. You lock the holy priest, you got triple sheep in the fear into a lockout, and the guy just died. So, so, so well played. Guys, if you like these subscriber reviews, make sure to thumbs the video up. If you didn't, thumbs the video down. Talk to me in the comments below about what you want to see for next time. I really like making the channel less about just my gameplay and more about uh, other people's gameplay, subscribers' gameplay, and really just reviewing it and seeing you know, you know, know, what they did well and what they could improve upon. Uh, as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!